you doing everybody? My name is Adnan and today I'll be talking about my lateral ankle stabilization surgery with a brace. I will be having a pre-surgery appointment tomorrow, Thursday, about my surgery which will take place in the following Thursday. Um, I wanted to take this, uh, open this page to show you how beautiful it is outside. You can see for yourselves. Unfortunately, guys, when you have a stability issue with your ankle, you are not able to walk a lot outside. You are not able to enjoy this weather, much less... Um, jog or do some weightlifting it will hurt your whole leg it will hurt your ankle all the way up to your knee and a little bit into your um your hip so it's a very very terrible situation the way i had it was that i was uh, playing soccer and i was sliding and when i was sliding i um, stretched my ankle and then this is the problem I continue to play for the rest of the day and then three days later I went for a jog and one week later I went for a jog the first time I went for a for a jog actually when I came back yeah when I came back from the soccer game I had some uh, red spots on my foot that means the the, the ligament was bleeding and uh, that's why I got the red spots. But I continued jogging three days later and I continued jogging after that by a week. And that was a terrible mistake. I've had this injury since November 2016. And right now it's uh, March 20, uh, 2019. And I am very, very uh, excited to recover, go back out there, enjoy this beautiful weather. Ever since I had this injury, I have gained 50 pounds and I cannot breathe at all. Um, so even though I am excited about the injury, um, I am a little bit apprehensive because I was looking online and I was seeing some stuff uh, of course, you know, when I asked the doctor previously, um, he said, you know, it is not 100% guaranteed that I will go back to pre-surgery condition, uh, pre-injury condition, but it's, it will help with the stabilization. Um, but of course, you know, surgeons, they have to speak about the worst case scenario. So I am staying optimistic. Uh, the insurance have changed this year, so I don't want to wait another year. Uh, last year we had some insurance and now it's different and next year maybe, you know, something even worse will happen. So I was looking on YouTube videos. I was also looking on some of the articles. First, uh, I saw this comment. This is the video. There aren't like a lot of these people talking about their injuries. I found like three people and I found some surgery videos but they don't have comments in them. So this is the video I'll be referring to. And this person, she had uh, her Achilles tendon fixed. So she had like a lot more work but she said it was extreme pain. And then um, Sabrina said that you know, after the recovery, um, basically she said, you know, use a bean bag to elevate your leg, uh, make sure your bed is close to your uh, bathroom, practice using the crutches before you, um, before your actual surgery. Um, and then she said, like, I am fully recovered and I have virtually no pain which is great, you know, it makes me feel a little bit better. Um, but then you have this person who says, it is such extreme pain, 
um, which uh, I understand because they're cutting up your leg and they're putting an anchor inside your bone. So they're drilling your bone. So um, I think like there will be some kind of pain, but then based on some of the comments that I was reading, it will go away. And then um, this is another video that I found about a person who um, has done some kind of ankle stabilization surgery and her recovery. So you should definitely check it out. She has some comments here too, which is great. This is another person. She does some gymnastics. So it's great, you know, check it out. Um, you should also like Google um the the surgery mine is called lateral ankle stabilization surgery with um brace so you should look into that you should read some of the articles you know maybe this one something from a university or a hospital something you know whatever you like And then finally, tomorrow, you know, today I feel very apprehensive. I don't know if tomorrow's appointment is going to make me feel any better. Um, so I have written down five questions and one statement. And uh, I put it in like large font. So I put it on 16. I probably should put it on 18. I tried to narrow down my questions. Initially, it was like a list this big plus the six lines that I had. So I'll be asking him, you know, where do I go after the surgery if it doesn't go well? You know, it's a legitimate question. You should probably ask this question. Um, tell him, and then the second one, number two, tell him any uh, adverse conditions that you have, anything that might uh, hinder the, the, the surgery. Maybe you are allergic to some of the painkillers. So let them know about that. Um, I'm personally like I have I develop keloids when I get an injury when I get like a cut and my skin heals so uh, this one is when can I go back to work um, I work in a desk but I told him uh, that I I will tell him that I work uh, retail sometimes and I will be standing up on my two feet so I want to know what he, he has to say about that this one um, is is it okay for me to push myself? Um, I really like to push myself. And that's, no, that's not why I had the injury. I had the injury because I was, you know, it was, I was uh, being very careless with my life uh, at that time in my, in, you know, at that period. But I, usually I like to push myself. So I want to be safe. I don't want to, um, continue pushing myself, you know, because I am in, I will not be in a normal condition. Um, so here also is a, like as, asking the question a little bit differently. Uh, I want to be safe. Uh, what do I have to do to break my ligament again? So, you know, it's a little bit different way of asking the question. And how long will it take for the recovery, you know, complete recovery, the skin, the ligament, everything, the bones, um, I will continue this video tomorrow and I will let you know what happens uh, after the surgery and I will let you know how the doctor responds to my questions um, and please uh, post any questions that you have on the comments.